address, to address council regarding increasing police budget, child sex trafficking, child pornography, G4S security contract, and divesting city funds. Welcome, Mr. Davis. Uh, just give us your name and uh, as you've been warned in the past, please do not put out people's names subject to your allegations. If you do, you will be out. I only uh, actually don't slander people. I actually only bring the facts to the <coughs> conversation. Like the real, less. real people that have been convicted of crimes, not the not imaginary stuff in my head. Nevertheless, you've been asked not to name names, and that's no. the rule. I don't think okay, it's three cool, minutes actually, but I'm not here to uh, name any specific names today. The first thing I'd like to say is that you guys need to actually give the police a real budget to fight against child sex trafficking and child pornography in this uh, town of ours where we have the number one highest rate of child sex trafficking in all of North America. I'm sure you're probably aware of that. It's and also, I would like for you guys to cancel your contracts with G4S Security. And you might want to check out the Vice News documentary, Superpower for Hire, Rise of the Private Military. If you want to look into the shadowy industry of mercenaries and private military companies like G4S and Blackwater. And uh, G4S run the Israeli torture camps. And they supply security equipment and do security in Israel and run their prisons. It also helps maintain the Israeli prison systems and, and do security at the checkpoints. In these prisons, there's children as young as 12 years old that are caged and put in solitary confinement for months at a time. Some of these facilities, children are put into solitary confinement and shackled by their hands and feet until they confess, usually for throwing a stone at a tank which carries a penalty up to 20 years. And at some of these facilities, children have been sexually assaulted and raped. And uh, at the border checkpoints, that happens routinely with women and children. And also, you guys do uh, business with HSBC Financial Group. You invest a lot of money in your city portfolio. Well, in 2011, I'm sure you're probably aware of this, that HSBC were busted for money laundering for Mexican drug cartels and for terrorist groups. And uh, they were fined $1.9 billion for laundering money for terrorists and Mexican drug cartels and find information in Rolling Stones, Reuters, New York Times, Huffington Post, other, other uh, sources like that. Everett Stern is a whistleblower and a CEO and a former member of HSBC who blew the whistle on this, and he's a former United States congressional candidate. He's the guy who blew the whistle on HSBC money laundering for Mexican drug cartels. And as you know, drug cartels are involved in not only uh, drug trafficking, but human trafficking, child sex trafficking, and prostitution. They contribute to addiction, overdose deaths, murder, evictions, job loss. There's more people that die in this community from heroin overdoses than the murder rate for about three years combined. So maybe, you know, you guys might want to divest in corporations that actually do business with the drug cartels and terrorist groups. It, is, does that make sense to you at all? Thank you, Mr. Davis. Does that make sense to you at all, though? Uh, we're here to listen to you. Thank you. But does that make sense to you? I'm asking you a question. Can you talk or, or just uh, blow saying, people off? And I'm saying we're here to listen to what you have to say. Thank you very much. Well, does that sink into your head at all? Thank you very much. Your time is up. But does that sink into your head at all? That, that uh, HSBC, Mr. Davis, please do uh, money laundering for drug cartels and Iranian terrorists and stuff like that? And you know, if I was, if I was going to do any money laundering, for any of those groups, I could face up to life in prison. But you guys can just uh, do business with people like that and get away with it, it seems, you know? Thank you. So, so next week, I know you guys are divested in Walmart. Maybe you want to. Item 837, request of Cassie like Cohen that, you know? to address council regarding groundwork.